Welcome to the Crystal Collector. Today, we're checking out fluorescent minerals. As you can see, everything on this table glows using a UV light, short wave and long wave. And we're gonna go through and show you guys just a few different things in the mineral world that has this awesome glow. I'm wearing these glasses because it keeps the UV from hitting me right in the eyes and burning my eyeballs out. So, it's a good thing. So first, we're gonna check out this mineral called Highlight Opal. It's from North Carolina. You can't dig this stuff anymore. It's from an old quarry, but you can see it glows like crazy. It has a super green fluorescent to it. Is it kind of stacked up into like little bitty crystals almost. Super cool stuff. Here they are under normal lighting conditions. You can see just kind of a clear look. So next, we're gonna check out this highly fluorescent piece. This is from Franklin, New Jersey. It actually has minerals called Franklinite, Zincite, and Calcite. You can see the orange and the crazy green glow. You can really see awesome fluorescent coloring under normal lighting you can see all the different minerals making up all the beautiful colors under the fluorescent lighting you can see all these orange glow rocks right in front of me and I'm sure you've seen maybe one of the two or so videos I've done on these Uber lights they're from Lake Superior up in Michigan and I'll tell you what these are so fun to find like, imagine walking down the beach, and all of a sudden, you just see this rock glowing at night. I mean, it's awesome. And this is what normal Uper lights look like under regular lighting conditions. This is probably one of the most intense fluorescent rocks that I've seen. But, you can't use the ordinary, kind of like the uh, long fluorescent type bulbs. You need to use what's called, it's these convoy style flashlight it puts a high beam on these minerals these are long wave so you can really see them with the highest potency you probably notice one of the most intensely fluorescent items on this table right there this is a piece of calcite it glows this crazy pink color now here's what's wild check this out when I turn it off, it's going to have what's called phosphorescence. So here's that piece of calcite with an intense pinkish glow. Now we take the long wave off and put under only short wave and it turns this kind of like a bluish color. It's not even that intense, but here's what's crazy. When you turn the short wave off, it has a highly phosphorescence, which means it fades out. Check this out. What? Pretty wild that it's just a clear calcite crystal under normal lighting conditions. Right next to the calcite, we have some highly fluorescent ruby. Up close, you can really see the intense fluorescent color of these rubies. I think it, it's even more of an intense pink than even that calcite. These don't have any kind of phosphorescence, but wow. Looks unreal, like it's from another planet. Here's a couple of those rubies under normal lighting conditions. You can see they do have some pretty cool coloring. And then we've got something that's really special here. You don't see many of these out of the thousands and thousands of Herkimer diamond quartz crystals that I found. Very few have the petroleum. Check this out a little bit closer, y'all. I'm certain it's some type of tiny bits of petroleum oil, I'm assuming. I don't know. It could be like an opal or highlight. I don't know, but it glows these crazy, extremely bright little dots now here's something called fluorite. So obviously it must have a fluorescence, right? And it sure does. Look at that really awesome purple color. Up close, the fluorite is even better. 
I don't know if that's a really blue blue or purple blue or blurple maybe is that a new name blurple fluorite what? you can see the fluorite actually has a purple color with regular lighting here we have a fossil clam with calcite that grew in a lot later these have a decent glow but what's really cool is the phosphorescence kind of like the calcite earlier check this out here it is a bit up close and what you're going to see is a wild green phosphorescence as soon as the lights turned off oh wow it's still going let's do that again let's get even closer all right one more time this is a long phosphorescence i'll even keep talking so you know we're not slowing it down check that out it's still going out that is wild golly all right, let's do it one more time. What? And a lot of other fossils glow. We have these Petoskey stones. Check that out. Pretty neat glow there. And I think this is some kind of coral fossil. I'm not sure exactly. I remember finding this, and I had no idea what it was. Still don't know exactly. Some type of coral. But you can see the intricate patterns that it made and how the fluorescent light really brings them out. Here's a pennant that actually has a fluorescent amber right in the center. Check that out. This thing looks like it's from Star Wars or something. So here we have some Missouri Druzy quartz and some Missouri barite. I had no idea till I started shining these lights all around my house and all the rocks and stuff. Look at this. These things glow, have a orange fluorescence. This is crazy. Check that out. And then the barite, they even have a phosphorescence. Watch this. You can see the various colors of orange in these. Really cool. You can hear Matrix back there. He didn't like the dark. Do you, boy? Go get those fluorescent rocks. Using the flashlight UV, you can see a crazy orange fluorescent color. I mean, just wild looking. Normally, quartz doesn't have a glow, so I don't know what's causing this. We'll have to see, maybe do a bit of research. But if you look down at the table here, you can see that they're kind of all different colors. This one's got a lighter orange, yellowish. This one's got a pale orange, 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 deep orange. Check this one out. I mean, it's got a really nice orange. And it goes all the way around. Here you can see the actual color is maybe what's called a light citrine or so. Most of the druzy from this area has a similar color. Some lighter, some a little bit darker. And then you can see the barite all under natural lighting. This piece really has some awesome phosphorescence you can see as soon as the light cuts off it just barely goes out wow the chalcopyrite or something that has went into limonite that doesn't have a fluorescent at all i'm sure this one has a bit of phosphorescence let's check it out nope so all of these you guys are going to end up being on the ebay store check out the link in the description below you can find all kinds of other rocks and minerals that i've dug over the years for sale can't wait to get these listed so you guys can get a chance of having one of your own what to help and support this channel please like and share and we sure do love your comments thanks for watching